Hi friends, today we're going to learn about modifiers, what they do, and some common use cases. First, we'll explore a simple example of how we can use modifiers. A modifier is a piece of code that executes before a function and determines whether that function gets executed. For example, suppose you have a function access Jeff's data and you want to make sure only Jeff can access it. To do that, you make a modifier called isJeff and attach it to the function access Jeff's data. That way, the function executes only when the modifier is Jeff evaluates to true. In Solidity, the syntax looks like this. We have a keyword modifier is underscore Jeff. We have a left brace. We use the keyword require message dot sender is equal to double equals the string. Jeff. And of course that has to be in parentheses. And then we close the brace. To declare the function, we use the keyword function. Then we call it access Jeff's data. Then we have the keyword public. And the name of the modifier is underscore Jeff. And then we declare the body of the function as usual. This is useful because one modifier can be applied to as many functions as you would like. For example, you can use the same modifier on another function, open Jeff's mail, for example, without needing to redefine is Jeff. Let's look at the full definition of a modifier. Formally, a modifier is a special kind of function that contains certain user-defined conditions. In our example from before, is Jeff evaluates to true if the current user is Jeff and false otherwise. Second, we can include more than one condition in a modifier. The modifier will evaluate to true only if all of the conditions evaluate to true. So for example, we could have a modifier called is Jeff and is weekday. So is underscore Jeff and is weekday. This is true if and only if the user is Jeff and today is Monday through Friday. So in solidity, that means that message dot sender is equal to the string Jeff. And in shorthand, today is in the set Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Modifiers are always executed before the functions they modify. So if today isn't a weekday, then the function is Jeff and is weekday will not get executed today, no matter who the user is.